happened in a hundred years. So we bought tickets and climbed aboard. We saw the brand new... And this is the 3236DGEV172. And over on the right there it says 12101, whatever that means. I was a little underwhelmed. She's only four feet tall and she's got that green patina. Here's a Weber carb I took out of a Tercel and I had changed to the main jets. The one on the left 125, one on the right 130. Started at 140 with the one on the left, worked my way down. And it ran better every time. Anyway, I thought I'd just do a quick little deal video here on how to get to the main jets. The uh, first thing was to remove the air filter housing and snap these clips off. And then the top comes off with the filter. Now there's one, two, three, four, and there's a little snap clip for this linkage that has to come off. The little snap clip, it's a C snap ring type thing that goes on here. And it goes right in there and then you see it frees this up so you can lift this off now. And that little clip, I didn't have it on this one because uh, I borrowed it for use on another carburetor. And I have to unscrew this, get it out of there. And these are 10 millimeter. I'm going to remove all four of them. Okay, removed all four of the 10 millimeter bolts. You can see those thin washers that were underneath them. We can pull that top off. I think I'll take the gas line off too. Just a short piece of it there. Okay, very carefully work this gasket off. Slip something thin underneath it so you can get it off without damaging it. There you got two screws, two screws. I take those off and I should be able to pull the top off. And also these two screws. So it's going to be two, four, six screws. Okay, all six screws are off. Can pull the top off. It should look something like that. And this would be the jet that you want to replace for the primary and this would be for the secondary. This one originally, I believe, with these carbs, we bought a new carb anyway, this would be 140. That's the one you want to change. And like I say, I've did, done them in five increments of five, so I went from 140 to 135 to 130 to 125 and that's where I quit. And my car ran better every time. I went down but I stopped at that point because I started out at 26 miles per gallon and uh, dropping it down from 140 to 125 only raised my miles per gallon by one so I just stopped but now I found out from a, a guy who's been working on cars for 40 some years that since these engines rarely go above 4,000 rpms usually they're running just over 3,000 you don't have to worry about uh, running them too lean so he said to just keep going down so I guess a 120 and then a 115 and then just a 1 would be the thing to try and he says as soon as it starts running crappy then you go back up one and just leave it there you're good to go you're not gonna hurt the engine so he says I don't know I, one of these days I'll actually get a chance to try that so basically, just get a screwdriver on that thing. Of course, there'll be gas in there. You might want to. You could put it in with the gas in there. It wouldn't hurt anything. Or you could just siphon the gas out with a tube, or dump it out if the carb's off the car. And then you just put it back together. Good luck. For those who are interested, this jet. Is 160 and this is a 170. Okay, I decided to take that 160 off and look down there, and there's nothing underneath it. 
Okay, I pulled this one out. It goes right in here, and it's a 55. And I pulled this one out of this side, which goes in here, and it is a 60. For what it's worth. I don't know what they do. I want to note that both of these, there's the other one down here, both have O-rings on them instead of washers for what that's worth. Before I put this back together, I figure maybe I ought to show how that float is set on this one. It's pretty much equally spaced. I'll measure the gap here in a second. I yeah, measure the distance from the flat surface here to here at the bottom of the float and it came in a, almost exactly a half an inch. And that measurement was taken when I was holding it in this position.